The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Bones, baby, goddamn right. Oh, that was a good one. I know this show's been brought to you by cocaine. (laughs) (laughs) I am your host. My name is Scotty German, aka the Podcast Prodigy. I thought we were. I saw online we were still going with that. So that's going good. That. Good deal. Did you say the broadcast? The prodigy? podcast prodigy. Well, he okay. probably did say probably broadcast did. Yeah, because, yeah. but he's a prodigy. So who are we to fucking yeah. question yeah. what he's doing? Whatever. Uh, but I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, uh, he is the funniest homosexual who's not that gay, Mister J P. I assure you, I am that gay. Uh, he's he really is. Um, but also, uh, Derek Alders. <laughs> also that gay. <laughs> yeah. The Wreck. I even put your nickname oh, on the little uh, Monday Oh, you, Your sound is way not as cool as mine. <laughs> 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 your, sound, your sound makes me sad. <laughs> That's okay. It, uh, he'll get over it. Uh, but anyways, we have an excellent episode this week. We do every week. You know? It's just the way yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it's just how we roll. You know? Uh, Derek shakes his head, acts like he doesn't want to be here. Oh, but he loves it. He fucking loves it. He got it. here before I did today. He, he was did. fucking excited He today. was prompt. He yeah. was texting me ideas. I was actually nice. kind of shocked. Yeah, I actually had to stop by and pick up some bullets. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, nobody's sending them. You was, idiots. Send I was, bullets. I was in the neighborhood and thought, well. <laughs> well, yeah. why not? One more time. Yeah. <laughs> and it, well, and I was know, kind of in the, I was like, do I just want to do a suicide or a murder suicide? Well, it, oh, so it's like. Got you. Coincidentally. Yeah. You're safe, buddy. Don't worry. Thanks, man. Coincidentally, yeah. I think the fans help, let me know. The fans of this show actually know it's coming to the suicide because now they're starting to like send me suggestions for Monday Fun Day. <laughs> yeah. Derek's best moments on the show. It's like it's it's inevitable. It's that way coming we'll have soon. something to put together in the montage. Ex- exactly. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. I want a candlelight visual on the desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just my photo with a candle. Uh, yeah. okay. But, we, uh, okay. We could probably make that happen. But let that flame get out of control. <laughs> okay. just and, be, and be asleep upstairs. When it yes, please. Okay. And my ghost will come and disconnect your smoke detectors. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, Halloween's coming up. We need some ideas for a show. We might be able to make that happen. Oh, I've got shit. Halloween plans. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, but anyways, we do have an excellent episode for you guys this week. We've got uh, some current events to go over, obviously. Overrated <clears> or underrated. Uh, a lot of them, uh, a lot of these suggestions from you guys. Uh, that's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas. And as always, a great great draft i'm kind of excited about this draft and it was Derek's idea i'll give him uh, a half a clap here there it is yeah yeah wow that's better than your sound <laughs> yeah, <laughs> i mean exactly. really that's a win <laughs> that's right uh but we uh that almost sounded like fucking the beginning of a car crash <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same <laughs> thing really <laughs> ah, i know <laughs> uh but uh and then we also uh end up every single show with a shitty situation but before we get to that we're gonna go <laughs> over what happened to us over the last week because you guys just fucking care about us so much uh we're gonna kick this off with jp uh give us your week week recap dude what happened to you over the last week Man, I know this is going to sound crazy. <laughs> it's going to be You're fucking You're never going to believe this, but I didn't do anything. Nothing? Man, not really. I can't even think of a thing that I did so, besides so what you, I normally do. When you do nothing, obviously marijuana is involved. Um, you can't just, like, stare at nothing. No, I mean, I watch TV. Yeah, but, and, like, okay, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I mean, you got to watch, like, a, a show. And I know you sure didn't watch do. the same movie over and over again, right? Nope, just I only, Robocop. only watch just Robocop. Gets high. Yep, <laughs> I just get high and watch Robocop <laughs> over and over and over and over. And that's what I do with my life. Actually, and then whenever he gets pulled over, he's like, actually, I know Robocop, so yeah. if you could just cut me a break yeah. on this ticket. You can <laughs> ask me any question about that movie. 
and I will know the answer. You will know the answer. Yeah. No, Dude. I mean, I watch a bunch of different shit, man. Okay. Did you take my advice yet on Silo? No. Such a motherfucker. No, I sure didn't. I'm even getting messages from listeners of our, of our show going, thank you for the <clears throat> suggestion. It's good as shit. I'm like, I fucking know. Cool, man. Yeah, but you should. It's really okay. good. Okay, I'm going to check that out. Um, uh, but anything, did you watch anything of substance? Yeah, I can't think of the name of the show, though. Okay. It's about aliens. It's on Apple TV. Okay. Uh, Encounters, I think, is probably. No, no, that's Netflix. Oh, okay. Well, then I have nothing. I've I got can't a- think of it. Idea. I could look it up, but my phone's all the way in my pocket. That's and I don't want to reach in there. No, that's fair. That's fair. I may never take my hand out. <laughs> <laughs> did you yeah. bowl? I did. Of course I did. Okay. So not ba- well. Yeah, me neither, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not well, but I bowled. I do this fucking show with two comedians who are fucking like bowlers on the side. Uh, <sighs> JP's a bowler. I'm just there. Derek's just there. Yeah. But you know what? Um, <clears throat> he's pretty good. Yeah. He's pretty good. Yep. Okay. Good for you guys. What did <clears throat> you smoke? A lot. <laughs> All of it? Um, so here's what happened. What had happened was I was coming to the show. And I was like, well, I smoked a bowl and left the house, went to Quick Trip, get a Dr. Pepper and a pack of cigarettes. And guess what? I still had my work shirt on. So I had to go back home because oh. I didn't want to wear my work shirt. And while I was there, I had to go back upstairs anyway. So I smoked another bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I changed my shirt and came to the podcast. And so on a scale from 1 to 10. I'm like a 15. 15 high. That's yeah. Whoa, that's good, JP. I feel good. That's fucking phenomenal. I love na 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 I knew that I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, I'm So that glad. was my week. I'm, I know. It's I, super exciting. Hey, dude, I'm glad you had a good week. Dude. Now, I need to find somebody to share my life with and good, good. do things with, and then I'll have other things. I went to the store. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's something I don't normally do, but I went there because I'm trying to save money. Okay. And, uh, yep, bologna sandwiches and ramen noodles for me. Well, that's good. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about you, Derek? How was your week, dude? <clears throat> Man, I didn't do much of anything. God damn it. You guys are fucking worthless. I didn't. I, I, I too, went to the store. Very <laughs> well, dude. Uh, my <laughs> wife... My wife drugged me. I had to go. Oh, my <laughs> not wife. Like, not, like, not like she made me go. She drugged right. me and then she, took me to the store. She drugged me <laughs> yeah. and then put me in one of those yeah. riding carts yeah. so that she didn't have to push. Yeah, I got roofied and then took to the Like, nobody roofies me to fuck me. They just roofied me to run errands with. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine Derek's little feet just dangling from yeah, the chopping Yeah, I could, cart? actually. I can't do it. So uh, we went to, uh, we went to Aldi. Oh God! Yeah. yeah, I like I like that place because uh, they charge you a quarter for your cart, and mm-hmm. it teaches homeless people the value of money because <laughs> then they collect all the carts. Yeah, you know, they, all the quarters. Yeah, well, so they, they don't actually have loose carts. Like that's what it takes. Uh, it's like for people to not be lazy and put their shopping cart away, twenty five cents. One quarter. Turns yeah. out it's just a quarter. Yeah. You're like, yeah. ah, well, god damn it. <laughs> so, and at that point, uh, that day, I wanted to be that lazy fuck because I was going to shit my pants. <laughs> um, I let out fuck COVID because I cannot smell my own shit and farts. <laughs> I let out a silent one. Uh, cleared out the produce aisle. <laughs> I thought I was in the clear because I'm like, all right, cool. That one doesn't stink. And my wife looks at me and goes, <gasps> and I go, what? She goes, <gasps> and I was like, what? And she goes, that's bad. And I'm like, fuck. Like, I thought I was in the clear. So I did that. Uh-huh. Uh, well, thank God we got that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. That was that was the most hot. That was the highlight of a week. <laughs> And then, he, he cleared out a fucking produce aisle. That, was, that is like that is pretty impressive. Yeah. I guess when you're 40, you can do that stuff. Yeah, it's more potent. They can't oh, even get mad at wait, you. Wait till you hit 45. <laughs> 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 Fuck the produce aisle. The whole store <laughs> <laughs> just fucking everybody just leaves. Shop all by yourself. Yeah. JT or, or JP, your farts probably just smell like latex or yeah. something. Yeah, latex and lube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. No, it's not uh, wrong. You're not wrong. Or spit. And then it's, I watched uh, watch TV. <laughs> I yep. watched, uh, you're going to laugh at me for it, but I watched the shit out of Big Brother, so I've been watching that. No, I don't think that's weird. And then... Uh, it's gay as fuck, but it's not weird. Eh, I don't know. There's See? some hot, hot <laughs> bitches on there. JP, it's on there. It's, I don't even watch Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I got, real gay, man. <laughs> I was at... My stepmama watched shit. Like, she won't watch anything unless somebody's going home. And, like, 10 years ago, I was out there uh, visiting in... 
it was like the last three weeks of it, and I'd never even seen it before. And I was like, what is this shit? It was like season 13 or some shit. And I'm like, ah, well, now I kind of want to know who fucking wins. There's three left. Mm-hmm. And so then I started, I set my DVR to record get, yeah. it. And I and so I just recorded the series, which were like three episodes. DVR, left. boy, it Back was then. a long time ago. It was, it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I set it to record it, and it recorded it. And then the next year, when it started again, I was like, "What the fuck is this? Oh shit! I guess let's see what it's about." And I was like, "She's hot." And then from there, I just started watching it. That's they really fucked us with that whole DVR thing. They really turns did. out the whole time we didn't even need the DVR. They could have just set it up so we could watch what we want when we want. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. But so. they got our money for a while with that DVR. Oh, they're still getting it for stupid shit right now. Yeah, it's, I'm sure. uh, it is what it is. Uh, but that was it. Yeah, that's really all I did was no, that's com- I can watch TV, go yeah. to the store, and yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, sounds like a good week to me. Clear out the produce aisle. God, yeah, that's good shit. Yeah. Scotty, what'd you do that was exciting this I, week? Uh, Daddy golfed. I, you know what? It would be a good. We I had did, a good I, week for I, it. I did. Yeah, yeah, it was a gorgeous yeah. day. Yeah, he wore a snowboard. Did you I, golf today? Uh, no. Oh, it was gorgeous. It was, today, no, man. I, 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 I work, day. man. I work. Uh, I, I mean, can't do I that. get it. You're. Well, we can't do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, you can. Poor Scotty fell off the ball washer. <laughs> <laughs> Why would <laughs> <laughs> he was straddling it and somebody pushed him off? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's what that thing's for. <laughs> that is. <laughs> it's I wish I'd have known that. It's kind of painful, but it, it does a good job. Guess what I'm going to be for Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> the, the test of koozie. Yeah. Thing. Have you seen yeah. that? Uh, uh-huh. I don't. That's a little thing you put put your nuts in it's a jacuzzi it's a test oh i have seen yeah. it i have seen that's, it it's supposed to uh yeah 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 that's what you can go ask for halloween there you uh, go well test a koozie. before i get back to golf speaking of koozies i uh, wanted to give a shout out to a fan that made derek and myself laugh harder than shit uh left a comment on our i think it was our facebook page uh, that said, I would rather be munting. Yeah, it's koozie. It was fucking fantastic. <laughs> Kudos nice. to you, dude. The best part is, is anybody that sees that's like, oh, what's munting? Well, let me tell <laughs> well, you. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me share that with you. Oh, man. Join the inside jokes. It's nice. Fun. Take that to the church barbecue. That's absolutely, <laughs> yeah, absolutely you should. His name was Kevin Smith. I wanted to give him a shout out because, yes, that made that made me laugh. You think it's the Do you Kevin think it's Smith? the? I was just getting ready to say it's got to be. I don't, I don't know any other Kevin Smiths. I don't either. So I do. I know three other what? Kevin Smiths. <laughs> Are any of them the Kevin Smith? No. Damn. You got to broaden your Kevin Smith. Right? I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Did. I'm got to be friends with more. Eventually, you'll whittle it down to the Kevin Smith. And when I do, I'll, have no, I'll know then that I've made it. Yeah. All the people that are like 19 that listen to the show are like, who the fuck is, is Kevin, Kevin Smith? Smith. <laughs> yeah. They're they're trying to Google it, but like too much comes up. You, <laughs> yeah. can't, you can never pinpoint this one. Which one? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yes, I did go golfing. Um, I, I, I didn't told play. You. Hold on. I didn't play bad. I didn't play bad. Uh, <laughs> I just, I couldn't figure, figure out my $1,200 driver. I'll be damn, man. It seems like you have a lot of trouble with that thing. For, for fucking... 17 holes. Actually, for weeks, I haven't <sighs> been able to. And it ended up being something really stupid. And then my last drive on the 18th hole, I fucking crushed a like 325 yard drive. So uh, yeah, I got to figure it out. Um, so the very last there. hole after you fucked it off all day long, <clears throat> yeah. you hit one good drive and you're like, yep, that's it. That's, I figured it out. I'll come back. I'll, that's what makes you come From back. From now on, that's it. oh. it's only crushing drives for me. That's it. I'm oh. going to be PGA touring it up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fucking garbage time German. That's oh, it. Garbage that's time. It. I mean, I bowl one good game a week, but that doesn't mean I'm good uh, or I've got it figured out because I am lost the last few weeks. Your average is pretty solid, though, dog. I'm, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. You're a good bowl and that's fine hey the you know, girth ain't bad either i'm sure it's not yeah, <laughs> yeah no that's right uh but uh but yeah i uh i got that done uh my allergies though are kicking yeah, my they've been bad ass. All week, oh I'm too. fuck i'm the, i'm like i'm to like the kroger version of allergy pills because claritin and all that other shit doesn't work i mean it's just it's just so bad that's just because i sprinkled pollen in your air vents <laughs> uh, it's fine i don't even know what i'm allergic to but it, it's bad well i know pollen <laughs> pollen yeah <laughs> apparently that's right. Uh, but while we're talking about shows, I did stumble upon a show that has me very intrigued, and my wife doesn't want to watch it with me. Uh, but it's Alone. You've seen Alone, right? Oh yeah. I've oh yeah. Everybody, before. everybody's seen Alone. Uh, you never have. Oh yeah. These these legitimately are. Uh, well, these people are by themselves and have like three or four cameras, 
And normally they're in like uh, haunted places. Patagonia. And shit. No, they're yeah. they're in the middle of nowhere in like Canada. Extreme. And shit. Yeah, cold. extreme survival kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. And I stumbled upon one that was on the History like streaming network, and it is uh, Alone Australia. I haven't started that one yet. Fuck, bro. All right. United States has some you know, fucking animals that'll eat your ass. I mean, we do. We got all kinds yeah. of Australia damn. Australia has insects that will do it. Australia's <laughs> like, got everything yeah. that wants to fucking eat you. Yeah. You are yeah. not on the top of the food chain. JP goes to bars where they'll do it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> So um, I, I that's true. I am very excited to to. to I would to love watch to eat that. out Australia. <laughs> I meant eat ass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so do they I. will eat your ass. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. down under. Yeah, yeah that's down what's under. Flashbacks yeah. actually. Um, but Australian uh, guys are hot. That's fucking weird, man. That's just weird. Yeah, uh, Australian I mean, girls are hot. Uh yeah okay okay you're go right. fuck yourself they're hardcore though like our girls so are australian guys I, okay yeah i give you that but like girls from the united states i feel like are are pretty dainty and australian women will fucking chop your dick off with a machete you should meet the new dishwasher we hired <laughs> <laughs> not dainty <laughs> she'll change your mind okay i believe you okay uh but anyways yeah my wife not dainty uh she uh we're going this weekend to her hometown. She couldn't be dainty. <laughs> She'd be dead. <laughs> yeah. Derek would break her. Yeah. We're going to her hometown this weekend, and there's like a hot air balloon thing. Oh, yeah? I've never seen a hot air balloon, so I'm like, I'm in. Let's go. You know, I want to go up in one. I want to see how high it'll actually go with my fat ass in it. I was going to say, did they tell and, you, uh, did they tell you <clears throat> no, you uh, you surpassed the weight Dude, requirement? No. You have to hold shit. like a rope all day, and then they might let you go up in it. And I'm like, I'm not going to stand there and hold a fucking rope. So... Uh, and then they might let you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no guarantee. Fuck you. At the end so, of the day, oh, we're running out of light. We can't do it. Yeah. So she's like, I can't believe, because I guess they have this every year in her hometown, like this big festival. Yeah, that's all they can and do. And I was there. like, uh, can she you goes, just pay to go up in it? She, that's what I wanted to do. She goes, well, I can't believe you've never seen a hot air balloon before, because it's like normal in her hometown. And I was like, fine. You ever seen a drive-by shooting before? <laughs> and she's like, no. And I was like, exactly. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> What are you talking about? Go where I live, where I'm from. You'll see those all the damn day. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was my week. Not spectacular, but uh, I did get a reoccurring question that I'm going to drop it on you guys. You too, because you guys are the ones that are here. Is this the thing you told me I'd know that you knew, already knew my answer? I to? did already know your answer. Yeah. So I have gotten multiple. Every time we put out uh, uh, Monday Funday, every single time we put out Monday Funday, there is at least one person on Twitter, Instagram, uh, or Facebook. Want to know where to find the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Where can we find it? Uh, <laughs> no, they all have the same question, uh, and it is: Would we consider doing another live show again? Dude, yeah, <laughs> I am a one hundred percent yes. Be awesome, I'm that in. that is a that is a top five day of my life. That was probably the one of the best days. I had nope. so much fun. Then I'm going to say absolutely not, since you enjoyed it. Perfect, because so guess what? We have replacements to fill your spot. Ah, not if I pay them off. Uh whatever. But no, I, I think. I, I don't. I, I know obviously because it was it was this time last year. We're going to need another microphone. Oh yeah, we are because Jeremy. Yeah, it's true. And I'm not fucking, I'm doing the whole show. <laughs> You're doing the whole yeah. show. JP's so. just doing a guest spot. <laughs> <laughs> I will fucking burn uh, Porsches to the ground. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, it's been kind of kicking around in my head, and, it, and if it is possible, uh, I would be down, but it would have to be kind of the same situation. I, I would be all for it as long as we do the same thing, and that is I'm not going to do a show for 15 people i think we're way past that shit though <laughs> considering we practically sold out the last one we we're did we're doing this <laughs> yeah, i mean yeah, I uh, <laughs> uh but i mean if everybody's all for it i'm down i'm fucking all in if if that's the case i think people will come okay that if if you build it if i build it yeah, yeah. okay all right well then that's that's that i'll I, think I, about I, it oh my god you guys know we get done with the show we're outside talking and here's Derek's just like I think that was a really good show I had a really good time I have never literally said <laughs> it any does of those not words. seem like especially, what Derek would say especially, <laughs> especially at that not speed. like that right yeah. Yeah. I think mean, it was fucking awesome man yeah. bump <laughs> <laughs> let's do another episode yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so 
I mean, it's close to that. Fucking mm-hmm. balls of wall. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but no. All right. I'll There's see, something uh, wrong with both of you. I'll see what I can make happen. But anyways, uh, we do have an excellent show for you guys this week. Uh, we're going to get on Lying to it. Lying ass motherfucker every time. Every, every time he lies to him. Every but show. They keep coming back and watching more. I don't get it. <laughs> it's I because do. they're attracted to you, JP. Well, uh, God, I wish they would hit me up. Okay, well, you know, you're on all kinds of socials. So I am. I have had a couple people message uh, me. I'm sure you have. Hit them up on Chatterbait. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's JP in ICT <laughs> at Chatterbait.com. There you go. Uh, but anyways, no, we got some current events to get to. Uh, you know what? I, I, I kind of figured that if you want to go to the statistics and shit, go find it on ESPN. That's not what we're here to do. We're here to make fun of some shit, and uh, we're going to start with some current events. I thought this was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the Tupac murderer is he's, finally in custody. He wasn't the murderer. He I, was the, he, you're correct. He's, yeah. not the one, he's not the trigger man. He's not the trigger man, but he was a very, very big, big part, part of, of it. it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Tupac's alive. Uh, this is also. I'm pretty uh, sure not he's true. not. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, not true. And the NFL is he's scripted, in Cuba right? right now, hanging out. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Uh, but no, the 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 whole thing is is that this guy actually was finally caught. Keefy D. Keefy D was Yo, finally Keefy caught. D. Fucking Keefy did you D. Hear, did you hear how? No. He book, wrote. Right? He wrote a book. <laughs> I didn't do it, but if I did do it, but if I did do it, the this OJ is how I would have done it. Yeah. It was way worse than OJ Simpson's book. I don't know. This was a book, and then he actually has a confession in uh, inside of the book. To which, when uh, or to to then follow came the uh, the police interview that he pretty much said verbatim what he said in the book on video, and now he is in custody. Nice. So it is. Uh, yeah, it's kind of. I don't even know if it's a it, big it wor- deal. It worked. Because who yeah. did you know who Keefy D was before that? Not a fucking idea. N- nobody else did either, but no, now they do. They sure do. And uh, yeah, so apparently P. Diddy's behind this. So how how long are we giving that guy? Ah, uh, well, he killed Biggie too. I think. Um, I don't know. That's kind of. I, I think P. Diddy killed Biggie one hundred percent. I believe that. I think he had that arranged. I, I th- fucking what, what? Puffy. Who who fucking benefited more off of Biggie's death? Than fucking, fucking Puffy, Puffy man. Puffy, yeah, yeah. That, I motherfucker. that motherfucker. Had Puffy it wanted both, but wanted both of their heads. He wanted Tupac and he wanted Biggie. So yeah. Where is that guy these days? Probably running for his fucking <laughs> life right now. Making Ciroc. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he so, is. So, anyways, wasn't that his uh, vodka? Yeah. I, Ciroc, I, yeah. I, I don't fucking know. It was. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys keep your um, <laughs> eyes to the socials on what happens to P Diddy coming up real soon, because I think he's going to be in some deep shit. Um, but yeah, so that happened. Uh, then moving on to some baseball news, kind of, sort of, uh, Trevor Bauer is now back in the news. Um, him and his sexual assault accuser both drop cases on each other with no money exchanging hands. The only hands that were exchanged were Trevor Bauer's and hers. <laughs> I don't even that's know if it. that's true. Take this, bitch. Uh, so they basically had like a suing match with each other. Like they were suing each other back and forth because of all kinds of evidence just now uh, surfacing. And she was totally out to get him for money. She claimed sexual assault. And then now they're surfacing of videos of her like uh, laying next to the guy while he's sleeping. That's why I don't fuck with bitches. Text messages <laughs> to friends not basically worth it. saying that uh, get that purse girl kind of shit. Like get that money. He's worth a lot of money. Get that money. And uh, so now all of the charges have practically been just gone. I'd have sued the fuck out of her. Not like you're going to get anything. You're not going to get anything. <clears throat> yeah. No. You got to uh, wait till she marries some NBA player or something. Like, yeah. All right, now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. She's going to have to jump sports. It's yeah. going to have to be. <laughs> yeah, NBA there's no NFL. way anybody from baseball is going to yeah, fuck with her. She's blacklisted anymore. from baseball. Yeah. Now she's got to go to a different sport. So I have an honest question about these kind of situations because the longest time we didn't really talk about it because. We didn't, we didn't know all the details. And then you have Trevor Bauer like coming out saying, I can't talk about anything but 
this is the situation that I'm in. He's basically been off two two seasons from major Major League Baseball. He's been playing over in Japan because nobody would pick him up because of this particular situation that he had hanging over his head. Um, I mean, you got a you got a female accusing you of some serious serious rape and and sexual assault allegations, as opposed to non serious rape. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, cheeky yeah. rape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, JP. I love <laughs> consensual rape. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I do. Uh, I will, I'll come out and say it. Okay, I'll, come, I'll that, admit it. That's fine. Um, but you have these serious allegations uh, about him, which held him back yeah, from for making sure. for from, sure. from making millions of dollars in the major leagues. For sure. I have a question. Do you think that this particular person should receive any kind of legal punishment Absolutely. or jail oh, time? Uh, yeah, for, for sure. For accusing an yeah, innocent man, for filing a false sure. police report. Number one, that's one. That's inv- wasting investigators' time. Yeah, you absolutely. should. I think she it. should go to jail. So stupid bitch. I at I think, least, at I think least all women should go to jail. <laughs> if we're being honest, at okay. least for the years he was suspended and out of the league, that she should go to jail for a year for each one of those. Okay, I, yeah. I mean. I'm down. I'm down for this. I, I think that if you are a female making false allegations that affect a person, especially a person of of his stature and athletic prowess, I think that you definitely should go to prison. And um, he has every right to sue her ass for all of his losses. He's not going to get anything. You're yeah. exactly right. But. Guess who you can't sue? The people that rape you in prison. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I'm I'm glad that we're all on the same page yeah, with this. I think sure. I really do think that she needs some kind of legal punishment because And Kobe she, didn't do it neither. Yeah. Whatever. Mm. I'm telling you, yep. you just go up to Kobe Bryant's room not expecting to get fucked and just hang out. You went up there for a fucking reason. <laughs> uh, I I mean I, there's definitely some uh I don't think I think they fucked, but I think it was consensual the whole way. One hundred percent. Same thing with Tiger Woods and shit. Uh I think what they need to do, like they have a uh, a sex offenders list. You know what that is, JP. Uh, I think I they should have like a, a gold digging crazy bitches list, <laughs> and you need to register on that shit. Yeah, I think that would be fan. Then it's like, oh, hang on, let me just pull your name up before we fuck. Ah, ah, there yeah, you saw yeah. what you did with Drake. That, we can't, we can't be fucking. Nope, we can't. Uh, that was the best one. You remember the Drake one where he oh poured yeah, the hot he sauce poured, in the yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely I do. And then she's in the bathroom screaming because <laughs> she fucking tried to pour fucking Frank's red hot in her puss. <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's a stupid broad, JP. Uh, That's what those are. Yeah, it happens. Anyways. All right. Moving on. Uh, Angel Hernandez is still fucking up calls in the uh, the major leagues. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I heard he uh, came back in August and was the lowest graded umpire, <laughs> and yeah. made 180 bad calls from in three months. Uh-huh. Well, two August September. Yeah, um, this dude needs to go, man. He can't. They can't get. They, they can't. can't. Fire him. I know they can't fire him uh, because of some like union that they have. The umpires union. Umpires union or something. Uh, yeah, this is a bad idea. Uh, for forming that kind of thing because now Angel Hernandez. I mean, he's still. Uh, um, a regular umpire in the major leagues. I think that they actually can not, or they can um, not let him be a part of the playoffs. I think they can actually he do filed that. a suit to because he wasn't him. on a, like back in twenty seventeen or something or eighteen. Yeah, claiming racism, claiming that he yeah so because he hadn't been in a World Series uh, and or his career and hadn't been a crew chief. Yeah. So now I don't know, I, man. Oh, I'd, uh, I'd go after it. You're the worst umpire. You have the worst numbers of any umpire. That's why you can't be in the World Series. I'm like, dude, all you're doing is umping Pirates games from now on <laughs> That's because it. there's no. Pirates and Royals, yeah, yeah. MEA. Those right. are the only teams that we're going to let you up for. 100%. And I'm not even joking. I think it's like, no, we can't fire his ass, but we can make him do the shittiest teams on the fucking face of the earth and let him do that. That's what I would. And if I could demote him down to the minors, I would do that. I Fuck wouldn't no, fire him. I got to watch his ass. Hey, it's okay. That. At least it'll be entertaining. No, it won't. Yeah. He uh, he, he actually ejected uh, Bryce Harper after a terrible um, like swing attempt call. It was so blatantly bad. And he was a third base umpire, and he he fucked it up. It was so awful. Uh, so yeah, cool he, result out of it though. Uh, yeah, it really was. Yeah, Bryce Harper threw his helmet in the fucking stands, and then a little kid caught it, and then Bryce Harper went over it and signed it. Yeah, nice. and that's I think that's dope. that's the way you got to do it, man. That's the way you got to do I'm it. Not a I'm not a Harper guy, but that that's pretty cool. Fucking cool. That's cool. Yeah, might, you might win me back. It, it's it's getting there. 
Uh, but now, obviously, the the major league season has uh, has wrapped up. Now we get to start uh, the MLB playoffs, um, which also then coincides with a lot of guys having their last seasons. Uh, Eight, Eighteen thousand people today at the Rangers in Tampa game. Really? That's it. That's uh, eighteen thousand. Yeah, that's that, still quite a few people. Not for a major league game. I mean, yeah, it's not for major league playoffs. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Not a lot of people. Not a lot of people. Um, but it was actually still kind of sad because obviously you've got a lot of guys that everybody's gonna miss. You got Miggy. Miggy's gonna be a oh sad my one. God, we keep talking about baseball. I'm hey, go sleep. Chat up, Miguel Cabrera. Uh, yeah, I like that guy. Me too. Uh, Adam Wainwright. Fuck him. Figured you hate him. Uh, Joey I don't Votto. hate him. I just think he's overrated. Uh, you may have a, a He's case. a Cardinals Hall of Famer, but he's not a, okay. a Hall of Famer. Hall I of still Famer. think he's... Uh, 200 games, dude. Calm down. Nah. Joey Votto. Look how he got there. Joey Votto. He deserves it. He, Votto. I hate that Votto never really got in the playoffs. I do, too. I do, too. He was he was such a I'm great person. I'm torn about it myself. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Zach Grinky. I know yeah. that guy. He's a pitcher, right? He is. Yeah. Very Look good. Look at me go. Look at you go. He's, I don't know. Did he officially retire? He's like 27 strikeouts away from 3,000. He can pull a Wainwright and just come back and get shelled until he gets 27 <laughs> until he gets, fucking strikeouts. That's right. Until he gets 200 wins. He sure did to do that. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, it looks like he's going to he's gonna retire. Uh, and I saw That's Cro- a fucking weird <clears throat> dude, man. He is a fucking strange duck. Uh, and then I saw Crawford, too. Crawford from San Francisco. Oh, Brandon Crawford? Brandon Crawford, yeah. yeah. He retired. Uh, yeah. So uh, it's it's a uh, you know sad thing, uh, but the, probably the saddest thing out of everything. Did you see uh, Tim Wakefield passed away? Yeah, I guess he was had like brain oh, cancer. Brain or some cancer. Shit. God, I, he didn't want anybody to know, and then Kurt it. Schilling outed him. Oh, that's which is so, kind of shitty on Kurt Schilling. It is it. kind of shitty, but God damn it, that was the craziest knuckleball I've ever seen in my entire life, and the guy did it for so long. Oh, it, it's so sad because uh, he died. I think he was 57 years old. Yeah, he's young. God, that's Well, I, I was saying that was young, and I told Brian that, and Brian's like, that ain't young, bro. We're just fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah. 20 years ago, I would have been like, oh, well, he's 57. Yeah. Now I'm like, fuck, that's like 15 <laughs> years older than yeah, me. Right. Yeah, right. I'm going to die. So moving on to another sport, uh, media day at the NBA. <laughs> All right. Did anybody see Jimmy Butler at media day for the Heat? No. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> he did it. He did it right. He came in with black fingernail polish, a piercing in his eyebrow and his lip, and he made his hair all emoed out. It was fucking great. Nice. And other other teammates could not stand next to him without laughing their dicks off. It was so funny. And he was trying to keep character. <laughs> Oh, it was fucking spot on. I might root for Jimmy Butler for this I particular. Like I like Jimmy Butler. I do too. It's it's just it's just fun, and I don't know if it was you know kind of Halloween spirit, but I hope he rocks that shit for at least a couple of weeks because it was freaking dope. Boy, he was not happy about that Damian Lillard trade. Though. Not so much. Not so much. Yeah. <clears throat> um, He's like, you guys need to investigate the Bucks for Tampa. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, but moving on, we did uh, we did have an NFL uh, NFL week what four. Uh, Derek actually watched a football game. I watched the Bears. I've been watching them. That's oh, okay. It. Okay. That's How, it. How'd that game go? Uh, the way I expected it. Okay. Uh, so it was rigged or not rigged? Uh, I don't think they care about those they're, games. Yeah, they're, they don't give a fuck. They're like, do whatever <laughs> you want. Yeah, that's okay. kind of what happens. There's nothing. To, you're, uh, you're not in the spotlight. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Yeah. That's only if they're playing like, if they're like, all right, we're playing the Chiefs. We're yeah. playing that. Da- all right, we got to hang on a minute. Yeah, right. Let's get the script right. But, uh, uh but uh, the Bears, yeah, it's just, I don't. I, it's I, my day used to hinge on whether the Bears won or lost on a Sunday, and now I'm not even yelling at the TV. I'm just like, man, eh, well, whatever. Yeah, it's first, well, you have to be like that because yeah. it's the Bears. You're pulling for a first round pick, though, here, Bubba. Yeah. Well, everybody gets a first round. Pick. I mean, you're, well, you're pulling for a first pick, first overall pick. Yeah, but who are they going to get? I, I mean, I hope it's to replace Fields. Well, you're not going to draft Drake May. Uh, I mean, you know, who are they going to get? They're not drafting Caleb Williams. They'll go back to school, and he'd be smart to do it. Uh, you never know. So uh, somebody asked me why they're why they're so bad, and it's because of the ownership. Yeah, the front they, office. They always hire first time head coaches who hire first time offensive coordinators. They hire first time GM because they don't want to pay for somebody. They're like, well, I can. You've never done it before. We can pay you three hundred and fifty thousand. This guy's going to want five million. Like it's, that's just the way they do it. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, until that old bitch dies, it's just gonna be that way. She's a hundred. That's why I'm not die! a. Cow- that's why I'm not a Cowboys fan anymore, man. I was a Cowboys fan for years. Oh, that makes and, so much sense. But until fucking until fucking Jimmy kicks it, 
Jerry. Jerry kicks it. And even when he does, Jimmy, I see Jimmy Johnson. He killed Jimmy Johnson. That's Jerry true. did. Yeah, he that did. That motherfucker. Yeah, piece of shit. But, dude, until he dies, and even then now, his sons will take it over, and they'll do the same shit he That's does. They don't happen. care about fucking, they just want to. Money. Sh- yeah, money. It's the big, I want the biggest dick. I want the most money. I don't care what in between. Well, I mean, Dak Prescott, are you serious? Yeah, he's not that good. Still there. I know. What are you fucking doing? You at least they finally got rid of fucking Zeke. I mean, that's true. But, uh, but I liked Zeke more than I liked Dak. Where is he playing now? Uh, New England. Is he any good? Yeah. Uh, he, he, he has potential. Yeah. He's behind Ramondre. So I don't know who that is. But Zeke, they, uh, oh, whatever. The Bears uh, fucking. Yeah. How they doing? They're gonna fucking. They got beat by the Broncos. I knew yeah, they were gonna get beat team. by the Broncos. Dude, your team. I didn't you think win. we were gonna win a game this year, Sean and then Payton, I saw baby. that we were playing the Bears. And then the Bears play Thursday uh, against Washington. Yeah, and I probably won't watch that one. They're gonna get smoked. I don't know, dude. That that rookie quarterback doesn't look all that great. Yeah, but neither does our entire team. You know who looks really good though? <laughs> you know who looks really really good? The Lions. The, the Detroit Lions, Lions yeah, baby. <laughs> they did look good. I will in, say that. It looks good. They went into Lambo and layeth the smackdown on them. It was fucking great. Are you Travis Kelsey now quoting 90s wrestling? No, I'm Scotty German quoting 90s wrestling, you piece of shit. I wish uh, you were Travis Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, so does Then I might else. be able to meet Taylor Swift. Fucking, I am so sick and tired of it. Moving on. No, I love it. Moving I on. Fuck, yeah, you would. Next item up, which is exactly this topic. All of us actual NFL fans need to band together and root against the Kansas City fucking Chiefs. <laughs> if I watch another Chiefs game <clears throat> and every single play it pans to her private box. Well, then you better change the channel. <laughs> oh, my God. It is so ridiculous. I'm so sick and tired of this shit already. And it's only two games. But here's the worst part. You now have Swifties going to the game. So this was a game in New York, um, was Sunday night football. The Jets, right? Mm -hmm. And you have actual Swift fans, Taylor Swift fans, Swifties, going to football games. (laughs) Yeah. And they are making homemade uh, Travis Kelsey jerseys. All glittery. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love them. Spelled (laughs) K-E-L-S-E-Y. I didn't see that one. Oh, my fucking God. Maybe it's just some bitch and her name's Kelsey. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, at least they're getting the number right. But God damn it, this is getting so ridiculous. And and it's now, uh, dare I say, dare I say, Derek, you had a point oh on this boy, game here we go. that that what? Fish, wait wait Dara please please uh, go on okay I, say it again if you watch the you whole know this game, is recorded I, I am I am you have you have a at least you have something to stand on is what I will say uh-huh. but think? if you watch the entire game there were flags obviously but it wasn't it, I mean it, it it was a pretty very good officiated game it was well done all right. Up until the last drive of the Kansas City Chiefs, who are actually in a game with the New York Jets, <laughs> led by Zach Wilson, who has been very questionable throughout his uh, first. I don't care how questionable. Couple he of is. weeks, oh yeah, but he fucks goodness. moms. <laughs> he fucks moms, JP, uh, not dudes. Well, that's terrible. I'm just saying, but he's at least in your age rank. Oh I mean, you could pull goodness. the drag queen. I could, yeah, hell, yeah. I mean, I could be a mom. Uh huh. Um, but. I I have oh boy this was very bad. Whenever the New York Jets had the Chiefs at like I want to say it was first and or no uh, third, third and twenty five something yeah something like that. There is a holding call that is missed so badly, so badly. Like the AFC Championship. Oh my it god! It was that bad. It was so okay. terrible. Yeah, it was that bad. It, I, mean, it, I mean, he runs right by him too. Exactly. I mean, you you can't help but see the hold. The, I mean, in real time, you can't help but see it. You can't. But then when you go back and look at it, in oh my god, yeah. it's blatant. And I, I mean, how I, are you? How do you miss that? I hate playing Monday quarterback in this particular situation. Yeah, it's like, god I agree, damn it, wow. I hate being this guy. But. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. But it was so fucking bad. And it, and it's like, do you really want all the Swifties to be hafty, happy? Do you want Taylor Swift fans yes. to start il- infiltrating because the Chiefs that are makes good? the NFL more money. That's what's Yeah, that's what they want. Fuck. Yeah. Hell, they, yeah they, they're going to go. The as soon as, they, the as soon as they even thought they could, you, you know, 
fucking associate themselves with Taylor Swift. I'm sure they fucking had Kelsey in a fucking office somewhere going, look, motherfucker. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Yeah. You you are going to fucking marry this bitch, and she's going to come to every game. We're going to yeah. be able to charge whatever we want for tickets. And oh, yeah. Hey, Ed Hockley, I don't care what the fuck you got to do. Ed Hockley. <laughs> you yeah. got to fucking make sure that you Travis make Kelsey sure. catches touchdowns yeah. and, and Mahomes does no wrong. All right? right. The thing is, is that the guys on the announcing table didn't get the memo. Even they, and, and it wasn't just that call. It was also a holding call on uh, Sauce Gardner. Yeah, that was up, crazy. It's an interception. It, I mean, and they called holding on the defense, which holding would have to be before the ball is thrown. And the penalty flag came out after the interception was caught, and he started running back the other direction. And not that only sounds that, about right. Not only that, <laughs> yeah, there was a lot. A lot I mean, later. if you're gonna call this a hold or even pass interference, you're a fuckhead. You are Angel Hernandez as an NFL Dude, um, umpire referee. The Jets head uh, coach, what's his name? Uh, oh God, damn it, uh, Salah. Jesus Christ. He was that dude was losing his losing shit. his fucking oh. mind, bro. I loved it. You know what else I really loved? Fuck, Aaron. What a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is. Oh yeah. The whole game, they would pan up to Swifty, and then they would pan to another box, and there was Rodgers just sitting there. And every time they went to him, he was rolling his eyes or shaking his head. Fuck you. Get out of the box. Get down on the fucking field with your fucking team. Mm. You piece of fucking shit. I like that guy now. Oh, I fucking hate Aaron like Rodgers. I like him. Just because Derek hates him. I always hated him, but That's I funny. fucking hate him even more now. I like him. He is right. such a piece of fucking shit. I, like I hope he never plays again, man. I mean, it, I it's hope possible. he plays one more game and it happens and it again. And fucking just, he just Pow! gets, yeah. No legs. <laughs> I hope right. he can't feel his legs. He, like, he's it. basically Timmy from South Park He's now. Lieutenant Dan. Is yeah, what he, right. He gets that. That'd yeah. be all right. Fuck Aaron Rodgers. Uh, but no. And fuck everybody that likes Green Bay for fucking him being on their team. Yeah. yeah. So so dare I say fucking AJP. Derek, you got a point on this game, dog. I, I mean, know. dude, it was I, bad. It was bad. It was the AFC championship for me. That's I, what did it for me last I, year. I understand. And I then understand. I was like, I'm done. I already know what's gonna happen in the Super Bowl. And that's exactly what happened in the Super Bowl. Sad. Penalty was gonna end the game. Uh and that looks like that's what's happened here. So what do you think there's a way that you can eliminate the referees deciding the game? That's all I want. You get I, rid of Goodell and you make it a sports league and not an entertainment I league. I don't think that that's the case. <laughs> I, I, I think you can make it almost, I mean, as 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 quickly we as... You have to throw out the script. That's number one. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's scripted. Now, I definitely mm. do question... I don't know. It's not necessarily I, scripted. I think it's just pushing, that's, hey, you guys, I don't okay. care what you got to do. You make sure Kansas City wins this game. Because we need the Swifties to keep coming to the yeah. games. So there's added incentive with that now. There, yeah. there is. There's definitely incentives added for this, and I hope that Travis or Travis wrecks that chick's twat and then leaves her, and it, we are done with this because I'm tired of this shit. I don't want it sloppy seconds. You better not touch that. Twat. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I have bad news. I, I know. He already has. I know, but uh, sure, he she's has. got but, morals. Uh, yeah, yeah, she doesn't. But I did like seeing. Ryan Reynolds and his wife. That was there cool, too. Blake Lively. I, I love both of them. Okay, a uh, question: If you had the choice between Blake Lively or Taylor Swift, who would you have? Blake Lively. Blake now. Lively, because there would be a ch- <laughs> even a chance that Ryan Reynolds would be, a, be a, <laughs> dude. Even the fucking thought of him have been there before me. Oh, dude, that dude. Whew. Blake, yes, please. Blake Lively would probably be in my top three of, oh. of most attractive women on the face of the planet. Yeah. Blake Lively now or Blake Lively like 2012? Uh, I don't care. Either. It doesn't matter. Before nose job. I found out she had a nose job. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Because Blake Lively 2012 all day. But, uh, oh, yeah. But Taylor Swift now. You're talking probably. accepted Blake Lively? Yes. Oh, yes. So all day. Smoking hot. All yeah. day with that. But, yeah. uh, but now, between the two, Taylor Swift. Don't care. Uh, oh, no, not even close. I wouldn't touch Taylor Swift. Plus, ever. Blake Lively shit out some kids. So. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Literally. Sweet. Got, hey, Got a couple what? fuck trophies. That- yeah. Hey, that's the current events for this week's show. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, I like that I had a choice <laughs> in real life. Like, yeah. well, you got to yeah, fuck, right. fuck one. You got to fuck one. You got to fuck one. Like, that's going to happen. Yeah. Come on. Hall pass, man. Hall pass. Or do you do you would would you rather have a hall pass that you can actually achieve? Fucking a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My wife's like, you want to fuck Kate up? Then go for it. But if she's like, 
Wait, you want to fuck that chick that lives down the street? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're talking about the KSN weather girl? <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but anyways. Those KSN girls are whores. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Not like those cake girls. <laughs> they have morals. <laughs> Uh, Jesus Christ. I don't, even know who, I don't even watch fucking news anymore. I don't, I don't either. either. It's not worth watching. It's not. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show uh, where we actually take <laughs> I'm too suggestions. busy watching RoboCop. <laughs> <laughs> RoboCop yeah. is what you were watching there, Bubba. Uh, but no, we took some suggestions from you guys uh, from our Monday Fun Day post. I don't like the way he called me Bubba <laughs> after he said one, that. By the way. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, but we took some throwback. some suggestions from you guys on your post on the post from Monday Fun Day. Uh, there were a lot of duplicates that we've seen already before, and and I can't respond to every single one of them. But there's definitely well, some. Well, then that you're we've no prodigy. Uh, JP, shut the fuck. I up. I mean, a prodigy would figure it out. Anyways, uh, but keep on doing it. I love the fact that you guys are actually sending suggestions, and we have quite a few suggestions this week from you guys. Um, and we're going to kick off uh, with overrated or underrated. Uh, and we're going to go to the one fan suggestion for this week on overrated or underrated. This is from Twitter. You just got done saying how many fan suggestions we had. Look at the next section. We've got dipshit. one. Okay, that's cool. First one for overrated or underrated come in from Twitter. This is from Ghostly Noob. He wants to know. Oh, Ghostly Noob. Oh, yeah. He wants to know overrated or underrated edible underwear. Depends. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ew. I bet they taste like black licorice. <laughs> My question is, what's the flavor? Like, right. doesn't matter. Yeah. Pick your pick your uh, uh, pick your poison there, buddy. Uh, well, it depends. Like, if it's peanut butter flavored, then let's go. But if it's like fucking yeah, licorice, then Cherry. I'm out. Cherry. No. All right, overrated. <laughs> Fuck cherry. <laughs> well, it's like I want my pussy to taste like medicine. <laughs> like they have thanks. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, God, this is so overrated. This is so overrated. Whatever flavor you get, it's just going to have a little bit of poo and puss, and I don't want anything like that. Not at all. JP, don't. You, don't, you sick fuck. JP. <sighs> <laughs> he wants cherry and raw asshole is what you want. All underwear is edible if you chew it, right? <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Uh, you want coffee flavored underwear is what you want. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. So overrated for you then, huh? Yeah, way overrated because <laughs> underwear. Why? <laughs> that just gets in the way. That's one fucking it's less like, step. What about on a hot day where you just got like a fruit roll up stuck to your fucking nuts? Like, <laughs> that would be the worst. That have wouldn't you, be great. Have you seen the things now where it's uh, dissolving bikinis? No. So uh, like the dude I have, watched one the they other have, day. Uh, guys swimwear too that yeah it. i watched one the other day on tiktok and this cheap this guy's like hey i got that bikini that you wanted she's like what are you talking about and he's like the one you saw in the gift shop she's like i don't know i do like it and he's like put it on so he gets her to put it on then she goes out in the ocean and in the dissolves. beach and then she's like oh my god like give me a towel he's like what <laughs> it's it, it's just disintegrated on her body it's fucking <laughs> hilarious was she hot Oh yeah. Okay, good. That's yeah. it. Would not be as funny if it was if she was ugly. <laughs> it was like me. You're like, <laughs> yeah, ah! exactly. I was just getting ready to say, I don't want to picture you in a bikini, but it's too late now, yeah. and I don't like it. Looks like a transgender my, who hasn't uh, quite committed yet. My, yeah. my underwear already dissolves. I don't need the <laughs> that's fake not stuff. Good. That's, that's the that's the news. flatulence bad that does bears. that. Yeah, bad news bears. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, next one: overrated or underrated? Colts. It depends on the cult. <laughs> I mean, really. And are you the leader or are you a follower? Oh, well, I mean, come on, man. If, if you got to find a good cult, you mean, what do you want to be? One of my favorite quotes is, <laughs> you have more money if you're a leader, but you have more fun if you're a follower. <laughs> that's from Creed from yeah, The Office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of my favorite Creed quotes. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I, I mean, say uh, underrated. Oh, God, really? I think we should have more. <laughs> There's already enough. Man. No, I think we need more. Oh shit! Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start a cult. You guys want to come? <laughs> no. No. No, it'd be a very gay cult. You don't know that. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I've be. turned a corner. Are you gonna be the leader or? or oh, follow? I'm going both. <laughs> <You're> gonna, <laughs> both. Oh, okay. You'll be like a. You'll be like a lord. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what. You're Call gonna. me Lord JP. <laughs> Uh, no, this is way overrated. Uh, I, I, uh, it scares the shit out of me whenever I watch the, uh, who is it? Uh, Leah, Leah, 
Ramini. Ramini Ramini. Leah Ramini is a comic from Tulsa. I don't know what the fuck I said her name for. <laughs> no, Liam R- Ramini from uh, the Scientology yeah. thing, like all of the interviews and oh, shit yeah, like that. They, yeah. Holy fuck. I'm out, dog. I am so out of that shit. Like I said, it depends on the cult. No, no, I don't want to be involved in any of that shit. Okay. Plus, the, oh, they're always the weird people. It's always the weird people that you're going to get in cults. It's not going to be the logical, smart, intelligent, like good looking people. It's going to be the really un, unattractive fat fucks that are stupid that have blue hair. So I'm out. Hmm. That's mine. How about you, Derek? Overrated. Yeah. Have you watched political shit in the last four years? <laughs> <laughs> like I said. And you don't like Swifties. That's a cult. That is so, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I'm they're 0 for 2. So <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah. yeah, overrated. I agree with you wholeheartedly there. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, the autistic talent show. Dude, that's way underrated. Way underrated, every, man. Every, Woo. like, every well, not every person with autism, but everyone that I know is really good at, like, one, like, fucking super good at one thing. <laughs> when I worked at Starkey, I worked with an autistic kid, and he was only good at eating cheese. <laughs> well, hey, but he could eat the fuck, he could out, eat of the that fuck out of some cheese. Yeah. And, yeah, oh, yeah. Sweet cheese and mayonnaise. And he'd tell you what kind of cheese it was just by oh, smelling fucking it. Fucking, the kid was good. I uh, I agree. This is way underrated, and I and I agree. Now, not all of them have like the one thing that they're a savant at, but um, everybody has like most most of the kids that are autistic that I've been around have that one thing. And one of the coolest ones I've ever been around. I I, I volunteered a lot of time back uh, a while ago, and uh, I I actually had was like a shadow for or a mentor for an autistic kid and that. <laughs> Poor fucking kid. <laughs> he was a re- he oh. was a regular kid oh, until Scott yeah, he was a regular. Yeah, that's fu- poor fucking kid. It fucking at, drove into autistic. It was, yeah, it was, it was at church, and I I was helping the kid out. I bet. But the motherfucker could name every single year a Disney movie was made. Oh, I can do that. Holy shit. Every single ones that were like racist back I'm in the I'm talking from Steamboat 50s. Mickey, right? Yeah. I can go from Steamboat Mickey to yeah. current. I can tell you every year it was made, what movie was made, and who directed it. All right. Saw. <laughs> Not a Disney movie. <laughs> Bullshit. No. Sorry. Same plot. It just follows the same plot, man. No. Uh, but no, I think this would be amazing. So I'm going to go way underrated. Yep. Underrated for sure. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Having your phone share your location so everyone knows where you are. I won't even put chat GPT on my phone because <laughs> I'm like, eh, I don't want that thing. I've seen Jexy. <laughs> I will cry. Hell no, I'm not going to fucking do that. That's yeah. a, but you know what's interesting about that is a friend of, uh, they make robo lawnmowers. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. Like Roombas? Yeah. Dude, they have a guy on TikTok that literally, it's a camera that's on his mower. Mm -hmm. And it just goes and... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I would buy one of those. So like I won't put chat GPT or share my phone location, but like, no, robot robot. with knives. What could go wrong? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Dude's waiting for Judgment Day from (laughs) Terminator, just waiting for his lawnmower to come cut off his balls. That's coming though, by the way. Uh Did you hear about that? Uh Uh-uh. The... uh, The emergency signal that's coming out tomorrow around 1 o'clock. Yeah, I did hear that. So um, uh, I guess to brainwash us, if you believe, <laughs> if you believe everybody, but uh, no matter whether you, even if your phone is on airplane mode, which basically disconnects your phone from the fucking yeah. internet, doesn't matter. You still your your phone still gets a cell signal from towers, whether I, you're on airplane mode or not. You can dial nine one one. It like doesn't that matter too. if you're silent. If you have it on silent, it doesn't matter. It will be a very loud, audible tone that they're going to send out to. Every phone everywhere at the exact same time tomorrow. It's tomorrow here at 1. Did they say what it's for, though? Like uh, this? To brainwash us. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm turning see. my phone off. Huh? I'm turning my phone off. Oh, me too. Okay. I'm just making sure. But it doesn't okay. matter. Yeah, I know. If it's off and it goes off, that's Dude, crazy. it will. Like, if you have the power <laughs> off and it's like... Dude. Things are going to get real. I've heard tomorrow. people that are like turning their phone off and putting it in like a goddamn microwave oven. And <laughs> Something shit. like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to wrap mine in a tinfoil hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to make my phone a tinfoil hat. Absolutely. So when this episode comes out, if this is the last and you ever hear from about us. Something about the metals that in the phone and the vibration that this causes is supposed to like release. I, I don't know. It's Cancer? weird. It's weird. It's, it's new COVID. To, 
I mean, maybe. It could be. It really could be. Some shit's going to go on Some tomorrow. Shit's go down, yeah. It's Y2K all over again. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is way overrated. I do not want anybody to know where the fuck I am. If yeah. I'm if I'm gone missing, somebody murdered me. I don't want you to know where the fuck I'm at. I just don't. I don't I, care. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just I don't. I like it when Scotty has his phone location on because then I just don't go those places. Right. That's <laughs> yeah. exactly. It's That's like my the, favorite. Avoid yeah. here. Yeah. Exactly. Don't Absolutely. even. If I get within a certain range, my phone just starts freaking out, yeah. beeping and shit. Except yeah. for when Derek sees me on accident in a public place, he's always the first one to go. Hey man, how's it going? I'm like. Oh, How's he, how's he do it? He, he waddles. He looks like Grimace. Yeah. yeah. He's just like, I just had a birthday, by the way. <laughs> yeah, happy yeah. birthday, by the way. Yeah. I meant to tell you. Yeah. The shakes are awesome. Yeah, yeah. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, overrated. How about you, JP? Yeah, overrated. Okay. Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Pretty much. And last one, overrated. Damn the man. <laughs> yeah. Overrated or underrated, arranging mannequins doing inappropriate things at a clothing store. Oh, my God. How could that ever be underrated? <laughs> what? I've never seen anybody do that. Really? Dude, I have been the mannequin. <laughs> I'm sure you have. I have. Yeah, no, that's, I meant overrated. How could that be under, yeah. No, you meant, you meant, how could that be how overrated? How could that be overrated? Yeah. It's very underrated. Absolutely. I'm a kid. I'm like a fucking teenage kid. Yeah. Uh, that's hilarious. All, all, all men's humor is, yeah. is like, stops at like 15 yeah it's pretty much the same if you walk into yeah. like a i also spell out weird shit at, when i go to like Hobby yeah Lobby oh yeah that's what I I'll do that all weird shit on the shelves i do that shit yeah, absolutely like, like boobs yeah. and then yeah. absolutely cunt you know, things, <laughs> yeah. things like that yeah uh no you gotta do that yeah. i i mean if just imagine walking into an abercrombie and fitch and then all of their mannequins are like just fucking it, it did be so goddamn funny so yeah this is way underrated yeah Derek. Yeah, I just said that. Uh, okay. I, don't, I don't know anybody that ever does that, so I can't really comment on it. But I guess it'd be funny if I saw it. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Go, I'll go with that. I'd definitely come back and take a picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly right. Somebody got fired, though. Yeah, uh, worth but, it. That yeah, Totally. Uh, but they couldn't is, have been making that much money. No, it's Abercrombie and Fitch, dude. They've closed yeah. out all their stores in California. That's horrible. Uh, anyways, uh, now moving on to a new segment called That's Where I Draw the Line. This is JP's favorite it's segment. My favorite segment. It's the best one. Yep. All of these come from all of you. All of you listeners out there, you guys did an excellent job. Uh, so we're going to go to the first one. Uh, where do you draw the line? This comes from uh, Instagram. This is Porky V2. So it's the second version of Porky. Did you see that movie? Porkies. Porkies. Oh, damn it. It's Porky's just, Revenge. I damn made it. one. I made a movie, and it's called Porky. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's in it. <laughs> He's the star, ain't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He sure is. It's like, you know, you remember Babe? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much the same movie. I believe you. Good one. Anyways, uh, <laughs> he wants to know how much is too much to pay for a concert ticket? <sighs> So here's the thing, because I don't depends care. on the concert. I don't know. It's it's no, 100% how much. percent it, it depends. How much is too much for the one you want to go to? It's okay. okay. So if it was my Taylor Swift, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Matt Rife. It's not a concert. It's, it's I kinda, not a concert. But be, if we could count that, I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, so the most I've ever spent to go to a concert was six hundred eighty dollars. What the fuck, dog? Who was it? Pink. Okay. Jesus that doesn't surprise Christ. Me. Fucking worth every penny would do it again tomorrow. You, But you were on the floor? I'm oh, guessing. three fucking... Rose from the stage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah you it could was, smell her whoa. buzz. Oh, I could. And uh, it smelled delightful. <laughs> I bet I know what color it was. Pink. <laughs> yeah. No way. No. Nah. It was more of a beige-ish gold. $180, <laughs> yeah. dog. To, uh, dude, I would do it again tomorrow. She is fucking... Like, yeah, she's great, dog. Dude, but. she's better than great. She's unbelievable. Ugh. Dude, to be there live and to see her perform, dude, it was worth any amount of money I'd ever fucking want to spend. She's still on. around? Yeah. 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 yeah, she's still she around. She still buddy. is. Um, I'm trying to think of... So I guess that's my answer. I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to think of the band that I would want to see more than anybody I could... Ever, like, any anything ever? Creed, probably. For no. Oh, no, God, Nickelback. <laughs> hey. Oh Watch God! It, dude. You're the worst. I love Nickelback. Of course you do. You're Don't a douche. care. Don't care. Everybody was like, you know what? Everybody loses Nickelback. Not one person says I love Nickelback. I love Nickelback. Get off my ass. Good Squatty's like Scotty's like, what would I pay Squatty. for? Squatty, did you just call him Squatty? <laughs> yeah, he's good enough. That's it slip. for now. <laughs> That's yeah. it for now, Squatty. <laughs> Squatty Gurman. 
<laughs> Squatty Cause, German. Because that's how he pees. <laughs> broadcast prodigy. Yeah, Squatty German, the broadcast Squ- prodigy. No, the podcast squatigy is what you were looking for. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, I think if it had to be one group, Squatty. it would it would probably be like Metallica or like some some band that's like running out of time okay, coming up. That might so be right yeah, now. okay. And so it's like. So where did you draw the line? How much? I would say for. Dude, three hundred bucks. Okay, three hundred bucks. That is my maximum. There, I'm changing. Changing my name. Just <laughs> Squatty. This is bullshit. Out of kids. Squatty German. <laughs> <laughs> Show the camera. Look at that picture. Oh, hey, hang on. Let me blur out the phone number. Uh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. There you go. Uh, that number again. Yes. Three one six. Fuck you. <laughs> Okay. Um, no, he, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Derek would pay an absolute <laughs> asinine amount of money. He wants me to go to a to a, well. He he wanted me to go to a Kansas City Royals like I offered. Yeah, I seen that. He offered. Yeah, and it's and it's like three hundred and some dollars. Fuck that. Two eighty. I, uh, I wouldn't still, go to a Cardinals game for that. Two hundred dollars too much. So yeah. for a concert, mine that's probably out. I've seen him once, but it was a long time ago. Dre Eminem. Yeah, yeah. I'd say uh, be, I, so it was one or the other. Eminem would be the one I would I would pay. And how out. much? If it was just me, like if I just had to buy my sure. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm sure. going with. Yeah, twelve hundred. Yeah, Fuck. no, no, I don't blame I'd pay you, bro. Bucks I don't. I'd go. I pay twelve hundred dollars for good tickets. Go yeah, not for, sure. for not to sit in the back. Absolutely. Like that. But if I'm going to sit like close, oh, for I'd sure. pay twelve hundred bucks. I would too. Now I know why I'm wealthier than you guys because I don't spend money on stupid shit. I'll just you bought, a tw- I bought I would pay a driver to go see Eminem. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a driver. That's what hey. I just said. Yeah, one that, driver, one driver, one snowboard, that, one yeah, yeah. But all of those last me like five to ten years. That you can't that put a price on one, memories. That's Scott. one right. night. And you can't repossess one them. Night. You can't put it right on a car. Yep. Whatever. That's bullshit. Anyways, uh, thank you, Porky, for that one. That's a good question. Good one, Porky. Yep. Uh, next one comes You're from. Welcome. Yep. Thanks for. Or this is coming from Twitter. <laughs> this is. This is William Payne. He wants to know what is the maximum number of orders from one car before you should go inside instead of using the drive-through. There is no maximum. Fuck. You dog. There is no match. There isn't. Fuck you, dog. This they'll is let the, anybody. They'll let you have like eight orders. Oh, they, they will. They'll, Bullshit. They will let you. Yeah, but, but you say like before. I'm pissed off. Oh, 100 percent. More than one order. I, I if would, you're ordering two orders, yeah, go the fuck inside. I say two, like two separate is, orders. Two, yeah. two separate. Like if you show up in a fucking church van and there's right. 18 people in that no, motherfucker. I've had it happen. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's and horrible. Fuck you. That's and awful. it was on my mom's birthday, and the only thing she wanted was yeah. fucking Taco Bell. You Remember told this that? story, yeah, dude. This fucking cunt, <laughs> and I say that because she was a woman, um, <laughs> probably a lesbian, wearing yeah. Birkenstocks. A van full of fucking people, dude. Oh fuck that and shit, dude. I promise you, she handed her money. Mm-hmm. The the she got her food. I'm like, okay, fucking. I don't know what why it took so long. If nope. Three times they did that, where they exchange money for a bag, and at that point I was like, "What the fuck!" <laughs> like really loud with my window down, and fucking two more times after that, five times, <laughs> five different orders they ordered people, in that fucking van, are and I was in that shit. drive-through for a fucking hour and a half. I bro. believe it. I thought you meant like, all right, well, I need thirteen cheeseburger. No, so you're saying separate oh, no, orders. Right. Separate orders. Ah, I'm talking yeah. about credit cards going to the right, to the person right. paying yes, for it. Yes, that's how, yes. I don't care. If you are giving them one credit card and there is 18 people and you're getting 18 like different sandwiches, I'm not that pissed. Yeah. But I swear to right, God, yeah. if I Even see then, you, if I, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I understand. But if I see you hand more than oh, was, two credit cards, I'd I say, will fucking honk. I'd say more than three for me then. You fat fuck. You understand other fat but Derek people. Or Orders three separate orders just for himself. Just for himself. Yeah. He just can't. He can't. His credit card only has a certain amount on it. That's so right. Yeah. He's got to go. He's got to go yeah. three different right. cards yeah. in order to get right. three different Big Macs from McDonald's. Right. I don't eat Big Macs. That's uh, whatever. Uh, thank you very much, Wayne. I had a Payne. guy named Big Mac. Appreciate one. it. That's it. Uh, next one comes from Facebook. This is from Jordan Johnson. He wants to know how many days should a person go without sex? Oh my God. Well, Hold on, let me see. Hold on. There's 365 right? days in a year. Derek and I are married, so to to our wives. Um, I, Derek, how long? Well, 
depends. I'm going to say... Depends if I'm in trouble. Depends if she's in trouble. <laughs> you keep the dick from her? Oh, yeah. Oh, good job. Good uh, job. That's what you should do. Uh, I'm going to say two weeks. Two? Ooh. Two weeks? Ouch. Okay. Um, I'm not keeping the dick from her for that long. Uh, mm, hold on. I'm doing the math. Uh, no, this is what you should, not what you have. Like, see, like in the 1,175 <laughs> days, my friends. <laughs> Roughly, and in, in, in before you put this, <laughs> plus whatever, or minus five days. As JP's doing the math, just have like numbers above his head, like, just, <laughs> like fucking a beautiful and then a, mind. A dick comes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a five, a three, yeah. eleven hundred seventy-five. Okay, the, give or wow. take a week. The fucking pie Jesus. symbol, like <laughs> yeah, rounded up. Bad news, bad news. I, I dude, I okay. Should you is also the question. So. Uh, you guys I, like it's a choice, <laughs> dude. I mean, I was on Grinder earlier today. Jesus Christ! And look, man, my life is over <laughs> because everybody that I want to message me, nope. But some guy right away this morning, hey, how are you? Good morning. So and so has unlocked their album. Click butthole. <laughs> 280 pound 70 year old butthole hey man it is not the way you want to start your morning <coughs> i mean that's and that's what i get now well, so that and you deserve every single butthole you, not you like get that. yeah you do you, oh, God. You know, who clicks on it buddy you don't have to. It just comes up. Oh, there. it just comes up. Hello. Oh. I like how JP. <laughs> yeah. I, I just imagine JP going all right. That's butthole, the, butthole, butthole. Yeah. And he went through every one of that album. <laughs> like God, dude, another I promise, butthole. I promise butthole, you. Twenty five years ago, the guys that sent me pictures of the buttholes was okay. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to wake up to that. Yeah, you know guys, what I mean? your age. But now. <laughs> Yeah. Now, nope. Don't you have settings on that thing? Can't you like make it to where it's like that is you... with the settings. <laughs> <laughs> that is with you yeah. gotta, you gotta some get... of them don't put their age on there so they can sneak under the radar. Oh, you know what that's I mean? What it is. I guess you're gonna have to pony up for the not for the free version. Yeah, but for the, no, you know, I'll never pay for it. <laughs> no. And you're gonna get seventy year old buttholes till you do. Yeah, I know. I that's how they you. get you. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm gonna go with ooh somebody's ring. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go JP with. JP got his alert early. That's a grinder alert. Yeah. Uh, I think my I, butthole's ready. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I'm gonna go with two weeks as well. I think because girls have periods and they and they're That's down where I was for figuring it. in. Yeah, you gotta you gotta give them that. So you're right. I'll say two weeks. Two weeks is good. Uh, and JP's one thousand <laughs> one hundred and seventy five <laughs> days, give or take a week. If I don't remember it. exactly. Unless you include b hole picks. No, because that's not sex. What about girls' b hole picks? No. Yeah. Don't no. want to see it. Yeah, I don't see it either. Me either. <coughs> uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> next. Great question. <laughs> Great question, Jordan. Thank you for that. Yeah. You make me feel a lot better about myself. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. It's always good to poke fun at the gay guy. Uh, anyways, uh, next one. That's where I draw the line. This comes in from Facebook. This is from Tyler. I want to say it's either Placky or Plaque. Uh, Tyler wants to know, how old does a woman have to be considered a cougar? You know, I used to think... I know. We're, you're, we're I guess old it now. really depends on I'm, your age. I'm, right? Well, I'm 40 now, so I would have said probably 40 or 50, but man, now, like, initially, my initial response was going to be 50, Yeah. but then I've looked at some of these, like, some of these bitches I went to high school with, mm -hmm. 40. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my age. Because man, I aged way better than these bitches did. I so, think forty is cougar and fifty is saber tooth. Yeah. I was gonna say we gotta yep. you gotta 40. add that you gotta add that one in. Right, you gotta add because there is a difference, and I didn't know uh, of such a difference. Um, but if you go hang out at Vorshay's Lounge here in Wichita, Kansas, that is where all of the cougars like oh, to yeah, hang out. Oh, like oh yeah. Go I'm, I'm going to say 45 is where my cougars go. And then once you cross that plateau of 55, 50. those, 55. those are saber tooth tigers. You are fucking people's grandmas. Um, no dog. 55? Um, I'm yeah, pretty somebody's sure. somebody's grandma. Uh, I don't care. It I think uh, is also no 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 no. If I remember correctly, also let me type this in real quick. Okay, uh, he's got the phone. No, You're no, getting no, ready. No. Your phone's getting ready to Sorry. ding with a b hole pick. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure. 
Um, uh, uh, 54, I almost saved it so you could see 54 it. 54 years old is Jennifer Aniston. Oh, well, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, okay. all you want. I don't give a fuck. Oh, fun. that's one of the shows I watch is one of her shows. Oh, uh, cool. The Morning Show. Oh, that's awesome. Um, it's good. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, anyway. <laughs> so, okay, well. So, Saber Tooth I guess Tiger, I know what I did last week. Saber Tooth Tiger, Next 55. Week. Uh, what about you, Derek? Where's where's uh, Saber Two Tiger for you? Sixty? Fifty. Fifty? Yeah, that's okay. what I say. Forty, fifty. Forty, we're on fifty. The same page. Okay, you're I'm, the only oh, douchebag. That's fine. I knew it. Some cougars are hot, bro. Well, and Scotty's like Chloris Leachman. <laughs> Chloris, I would fuck the hell out of some Chloris Leachman. <laughs> <laughs> Beatrice. Uh, all right, uh, last one. This comes in from Facebook. This is from Roger Cook. He wants to know what is the slowest you should be allowed to drive in the fast lane? Two miles over the speed limit. That is it. Oh, I think that's not two enough. miles per hour over the speed limit. I think you should be. Going you have at to least be least five over. You have yes. to be actively passing. Uh, and I'll go with you. Five on over that. passing. Five, okay, five over passing uh, or five over the speed limit just to pass. Yes, and then you get your ass right back over yeah. in the right fucking lane. And I think that's five is. Kind of pushing it, right? I think it's closer to ten. If uh, I, if I'm like <clears throat> going down Kellogg, mm -hmm. if you're not going seventy, get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, I get. Um, I go sixty six or sixty seven, I go 70, and I pass I go, in the left lane, and then get right back in the middle lane. I and that's what you're supposed 69. to do. Sixty <laughs> nine. I bet. God, I we are old farts. This is yeah. the shit we bitch about on a regular basis. Yeah. Is driving. Oh, on God, the highway, and some stupid motherfucker is in the very far left lane, going the exact same speed as the motherfucker in right oh, the lane. Oh crazy, God, man. it pisses me I'll off. I'll fucking swing around both of them into the right lane, fucking just jam on it, just so I can <laughs> fucking sneak back in front of them. <laughs> oh, God. And you get a look at both of oh, their yeah, faces just, just to see how fucking stupid they're they look. usually women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is I can't wait. I'm going to Chicago at the end of the month, oh, and that is going to be so fun because I can drive the way I drive here, and everybody yeah. drives the way I drive yeah. here. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we draw the line. Again, you can send them to us every Monday on Monday Funday. Oh, if you are sending me like suggestions and via messages, don't do that anymore. Use this. This is way better. Uh, all right, next uh, segment. Uh, yeah, like Twitter. If you're sending us messages on Twitter, Instagram, and stuff like that, I'm probably not going to see them as much anymore. Instead, if just comment on those posts because, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to start dwindling that kind of stuff down. That's what it's for. Okay, uh, next uh, segment we're going to move on to is questions and preguntas. Uh, we've got a, we have a few. <laughs> I love pregnant questions. I love pregnant questions. <laughs> yeah, don't you, though? They're yep, fun. They are fun. Excuse me. Uh, anyways, uh, first question for this week is, I've lived in the United States my whole life, and I've never blank. Shot up a school. Hmm. Congratulations. Right. Never. Way to go. Okay. Absolutely not. Wow. I think a lot of people could say that. Uh, yeah. yeah, but everybody thinks we do. That's just what we do. It's our thing. JP? I've lived in the United States my whole life, and I've never been to another country. Are you serious? Yeah. Never? Never. Dude, you should go to the Mexican gay bars. Woo. Oh, yeah? Yeah, talk about some they bean. They are uh, talk about, in fuego. Talk about some bean dip, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm I have there. no idea. It sounds like Scotty hanging out at the Mexican <laughs> game. Yeah, huh? No, I'm just saying it's close. You guys want to go down to Tijuana? And yeah. <laughs> no, just El Paso. El Paso is where you want to go, JP. That's, that's the United States. I've lived Scotty. in the United States my whole life, and right. I've never jerked off thinking about a woman. <laughs> never? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, then I mean, that's what that's one. I don't know. I think everybody... Have every, you used Scotty? Have you thought of Scotty once? Dad, don't you dare fucking answer that question. I will... No, I haven't. Ah! I've never thought of Scotty once. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross! Stop it! <laughs> you fucking asshole! That's no! No! Scotty, I got bad news, buddy. God damn even it! Even if I was gonna fuck a guy, uh, it, you know, I it, no, you're not even close to my type. Thanks, buddy. bro. Appreciate you're it. You're way, way too fat. Um, too anything. I don't give a fuck. Uh, short, fat, Dead. hairy. 
Um, not, definitely not hairy, I mean, but that's beside the point. Well, I'll take it. Flamboyant. Flamboyant. Yeah, I don't like. Really? I don't like girly girl, girly guys. Fuck you, you know bro. What I mean? You piece of shit. I already said no. <laughs> <laughs> no means no. Now Scotty's Scotty. gonna try hard. <laughs> no, I'll take. You're it. gonna come over next <laughs> week, and there's gonna be flowers right there. Oh <laughs> uh, no! Hey, I just said uh, I'm gonna get, get a bottle, bottle, of, bottle of wine here. Drink yeah. up. Get my yeah. get, get my like fucking like Wranglers and cowboy there boots and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. one of those flip calendars where. It's like zero days since last time I've gotten laid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on. Where's Derek? Uh, uh, no uh, podcast this week. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. We, we had technical difficulties. Right. Yes. You want to come down and help me figure them out? Nope. Sure don't. All right. Uh, how about you, Derek? What's the question again? <laughs> Talk into the microphone. What's the question again? I've lived in the United States my whole life and I've ah. never blanked. I've never owned. The an, an American flag and never oh, worn God. anything with the American flag on it. Wow, I don't have a shirt that has the American flag on it. I don't have a hat. I don't have nothing. All I've right. got a uh, cock ring that's American flag <laughs> themed. I'm sure you do. Because a lot of uh, people have American flag. Way to show shit. your patriotism, there, JP. Good for you, buddy. I mean, you know, I got a yeah, yeah, super gay patriotism. Love it. Yay. My sound's cooler than your sound. It, it does. Um, anyways, uh, next question. Not a flag it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's flag it. Yes, with an L. I am with not a flag it. Wow. I am. That's what I call uh, it. I like it whenever I like it whenever they call me flag it. I'm sure you do. Uh, all right. Next question. <laughs> we have flag it. <laughs> Beat me. Call me a flag it. <laughs> Waterboard. I want you to. It's okay. <laughs> Waterboard me with old it. glory. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I almost passed out there for a second. Oh, God. <laughs> Too bad. You know what? I've never been so disappointed in the word almost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. Uh, next question. Charities you would not want to donate any money to. KKK. That's not charity, dog. That's a cult. No. <laughs> That's from a previous oh, question. I, I guess I went uh, fucking <laughs> underrated, underrated on cults. <laughs> so. Sounds about right. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Wounded Warrior Project. I heard they're really fucking shitty. Uh, some yeah, I've heard. I heard they're horrible. I, like they, I, I, they keep ninety percent of it. I've and, heard. Yeah. I, I I think um like yeah yeah I, it's a horrible charity. I man. don't know enough to make judgment, and I don't have. I do. I, I just I, did. Okay, I haven't done enough research, but I have heard that before. So I hope not. I hope that's not true. Goodwill, DAV, all those places. Uh, fucking, what's the ones that ring the bell? Oh, that's uh, Salvation, Salvation Army. Army. Bad. Horrible. Oh, well, fuck them. They just annoy yeah. me on during Most Christmas. Most charities are just money grabs. I don't know. I do. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what I want to say. I <laughs> don't. Uh, um, the one that I found, and I had to look this up to make sure it it is it was an actual thing. Okay. Have you seen ridiculous GoFundMe's? Yeah. Okay. There was an actual GoFundMe before he died for Aaron Carter to get back on top. Okay. He was wanting a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> he was wanting a hundred thousand dollars to get back on top because he spent all of his I'd money. I'd have paid him a hundred thousand dollars to get on top. I'm sure but you it's did. Too late now. Sure is. Mm -hmm. How about you, Derek? I got a few of them. Okay. Uh, trans warmers. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, stylish blankets for trans people. <laughs> trans warmers. A lot of trans don't have blankets. <laughs> yeah. And you oh, can't yeah. Get, they got to have a stylish blanket so you can be like, wow, that's weird. It's just like, whoa, trans where'd you get that blanket? Trans warmers. Right. Dude, where'd you come uh, up with trans warmers? I, I got, love it. I got two more. Uh, I got uh, Jurassic Parkas. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, coats for dinosaurs. Because, <laughs> you know. Hey, they they're working on cloning too. them. Yeah. They're cloning them right yeah. now. Well, yeah. that meteor blocked out the sun. And yeah. yeah. They got to make it warm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then uh, Beetlejuice. <laughs> it, what it's the actually fuck? Uh, it's a rescue home for Jewish beetles that have been abandoned. <laughs> oh, shit. So, Beetlejuice. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good stuff. All sketchy. Oh, yeah. Uh, next one. <laughs> Only you can prevent blank. Uh, Jake and Logan Paul for making money on paper. No, <laughs> no oh, kidding. Yeah. Hey, hey, what do we got here? A 92 year old boxer. <laughs> Ali, dig him up. Let's go. Fucking shit. Yeah. God damn it. 
Um, I don't know. JP, do you have anything? Forest fires. The answer is forest fires. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Oh. Only you can prevent forest fires. I mean, yeah. You Smokey the Bear. I know. That's the answer. But, I mean, that's the incorrect answer. No, it's the, it's the only answer. No, it's I not. bet if you Google Only it. you can prevent herpes. There you go. That's a good one. I or, like. his, or his piece. Yeah. Oh, those are the worst. His and herpes. His and herpes. Yeah. <laughs> only you can prevent pregnancy. Yeah. No, that's for you, JP. <laughs> I can't. I. <laughs> <laughs> You're striking I'll tell out, you what, dog. I've never used a condom, and I'm not pregnant yet. I know. See? So. It's just you. You're yeah. just magic, man. Only you mm-hmm. can do it. Mm-hmm. I'm um, magic. Next question. What's something you would likely hear in a Muppet porno movie? Uh, those two old Muppets telling me how bad I fuck. <laughs> yes. 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 Just ragging on yes. you the whole time. Yes. God damn, my grandmother's fucking got more stamina than that guy, and she's dead. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. I don't know how you top that. Fruity, fruity, birdie, deep, pork, 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 pork. <laughs> <laughs> me 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 <laughs> me 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 whatever that guy fucking says okay man oh yeah Line. kermit smack my ham smack my ham <laughs> <laughs> just lining up to sit on gonzo's face <laughs> <laughs> jp's there straddling away. i can't do it it's got that weird curve to it i can't i can't do it yeah um, turns them into squirters that yeah way. yeah it's not good Oh shit! Oh, that's wow. fu- that's fucking great! Wow. <laughs> okay. Ah oh, man, and last one. This one actually does come in from a listener. This is from Facebook. This is Taylor Moroski. She wants to know bad times for Viagra to kick in during a Muppet porno. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, it's just kind of weird. You're fucking Muppets, dog. I fucked oh, worse. I, it's true. They're all getting fisted. My ex is basically <laughs> my ex is basically a Muppet. <laughs> I hope he's listening. You fuck. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, how about you, there, JP? Um, my ex is a Muppet. What are we at? What bad times for Viagra to kick in? Yeah. Um, is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess while I'm working. I guess okay. while I'm... Just flop it up onto the table when you're taking somebody's order. Knocking over order. drinks. <laughs> knocking fucking, over drinks. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. That'd be bad. Whenever you're getting frozen with carbonite. <laughs> There's not enough carbonite. We just, we've already talked about this, man. <laughs> yeah. Could never happen. Uh, it just never can happen. How about you, Derek? Uh, at a public pool. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bad one. But you could just stay in the water. But what if somebody accidentally runs into it or they throw one of those diving rings and it accidentally <laughs> fucking, yeah. It's like a ring toss. It yeah. is like ring yeah. toss. Only Derek's like the hardest right. setting. You remember, you remember way back in the day, those little things where you push the button and the rings. Was, oh, yeah. And then you, yeah. you know only, what I'm Only about? 80s and 90s kids know what the fuck yeah. that is. Yes. That's basically, that's basically what it's like when Derek goes to the pool. He pops a couple of Viagra. Go to the pool. Well, it's, it's the hardest setting for those rings. There's a little bitty stick. You got to get them on there. Yeah. Well, oh, absolutely. And still cool. hit the back of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty's got a very small mouth. Yeah. He's got a shallow mouth. He's got a yeah. shallow, shallow mouth. Oh, shallow mouth, God Scotty. Damn. Squatty. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen. Squatty with the shallow mouth. Squatty with the shallow mouth. I fucking hate my job and I my life. I think we got the title for this episode. No. Squatty with the shallow mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Let anyways, me be your squatty. Okay, fine. Uh, but that is questions and preguntas. Again, check out every Monday fun day. I put a uh, little banner up that you guys can comment your suggestions for all of these segments. You can go to those at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram or at L O T side or L O T sidelines on X slash Twitter, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Sorry, I didn't mean to like spit over at you. No, uh, you got me too. Or Facebook.com oh, like slash dinosaurs. laughing on the sidelines. He's like one of those dinosaurs. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, too late. You're dead. Dotson. Dotson. You have we got now. Dotson here. But now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very popular part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. All right, 
ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Uh, Derek won. Yeah. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's annoying when he does it. It's scary when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds, whoa. sounds like a tardo getting pumped up. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> That's what you sound like all the time. <laughs> hey, you know what? It happens. It's all right, man. It's, so, it's okay. I'm just happy. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> don't even say. I don't know why he's bragging. I'm just happy. Good for you. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Last uh, last week in the draft, Derek won. How'd I do? How'd I do? I don't know, bro. Your your curiosity stream. curiosity stream, dude. It's the best. You should check it out. As your first fucking. It's a good pick. one, man. It's a good one. <laughs> or was it your first or second? <laughs> I I, you know. took grinder and and curiosity stream yeah. back to back. I thought for sure that would be a winner. Yeah, because you know me and Derek are really hard off for the grinder. Uh, well, uh, but no, I know you are. I mean, b hole picks. Every <laughs> no, <laughs> I know it was you. No, uh, but no, uh, I uh, got second. With the most used fucking apps, you fucking liars. Yeah, nobody likes you, man. Liars to yourself. Um, but anyways, I got second. JP got last. So this week's draft, JP gets the first pick. I get the sandwich picks. And Derek gets championship picks. Fuck you. Um, but this week's draft is going to be the dumbest or most ridiculous holidays. Okay. Okay? Yep. Yeah. Got it. All right. And uh, JP, you get to kick this bitch off, dude. I'm going to start with Valentine's Day. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Don't Fucking don't. ridiculous. <laughs> there is no such thing as love. Uh, there is. No, there's not. It's just the people. It's bullshit. It's just the, the man-made requirement to celebrate it with yeah, your significant other. Valentine's Day is bullshit. Especially if you're gay and alone bullshit. and haven't had sex in three years. 1,175 <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. I, uh, let's see. I've got, I've got a couple that I want. Updated it for you for later. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Derek just updated me to 1,176 <laughs> because I forgot to count today. Thank you, Derek. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to kick off this week's draft with a stupid holiday. It is on, uh, let's see. February the seventeenth, Saturday or Saturday or doesn't matter. February the seventeenth is, uh, oh no, I, I I do apologize. That's the wrong day. February eighteenth is the uh, Thumb Appreciation Day. Okay, mm, yeah. I love a good thumb. Yeah, thumb. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, why don't you do me a favor, big boy, and try and sneak that thumb in there? <laughs> oh no! I it's mean, gonna feel just four like four fingers cock. is great, but uh, I'm gonna need the thumb. <laughs> so fucking wrong is that what it is no it's not oh. it's just you know we okay. have opposable thumbs okay and we're celebrating it yep all, all right, right derek you get two in a row uh i'm gonna go with may 29th okay uh put a pillow on your fridge day <laughs> on yeah on on or in on oh okay yeah. well is that pam or pan okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh july 27th uh, take your house plant for a walk day. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, I mean, God, I, I do that like twice a week. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Murray's yeah. got to get some sun. Yeah, he does. Okay. So that means it's back to me. This is one that I definitely did not want to be without. January 31st, I'm going to go with Gorilla Suit Day. Oh, that's a good <laughs> that's one. That's a good one. I, I love Gorilla Suit I'm Day. fucking celebrating that next mm -hmm. year. Oh, man, mm -hmm. that's just stupid. I had such a bad joke, and I just kept it in. All right. Uh, Bet it was racist. Nope. JP. <laughs> God, you're such a dick. JP, you get two in a row. All right. I'm going to go with the first one is uh, December 23rd. Okay. The Night of the Radishes. Oh, gotta yep. love the night of the, the night of the radishes is, uh, is, is a carving contest in Mexico held on December 23rd and participants compete to carve radishes into like to celebrate historical scenes with Jesus Christ in the scene. Well, like it's you great. should, like yeah, you should. It's awesome. I mean, you it's have awesome. to. So that's one. Jesus I get another one. Yep. You get another one. Groundhog day. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's it enough said uh damn it i got a month can i use a month no, i'm just kidding nope. 
it's, I know it's going to be Black History Month. <laughs> you can't do that, man. No. He's like, I get that and Juneteenth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm surprised he hasn't said Juneteenth yet. Nope, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, December the 8th, and that is Take It in the Ear Day. Mm. JP? Mm. No. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I've never tried, but. <laughs> you I could like, probably fit I'm Derek's a, in there. I'm a pretty open person. I'm geez, that's disgusting. I don't know. Is his ear as deep as your throat, Scotty? You uh, <laughs> Derek, go ahead. Uh, January 22nd. Okay. Answer your cat's questions day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And January 11th, uh, learn your name in Morse code day. Because <laughs> oh. everyone needs to know that. I mean, you should. Oh, God. Well, uh, <laughs> I, like, I like this one a lot, and I'm glad Derek didn't find it. But October the 30th is create a great funeral day. <laughs> so does that mean... Murder a fucking guy? I mean, hey, you gotta create, take it however you want. You got to create a good funeral. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go with that. That's okay. kind of murder. Sometimes gotcha. like when your buddy doesn't want a party and you bring the party to them, you got to do that you with, the, do funeral. That with yeah. the funeral. Yeah. You don't want to die. We're just going to bring the funeral to you. To you. Take yeah. these pills. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everybody's on their way. <laughs> All right. And uh, JP, reverse you, get, intervention. you get two in a row. My last two? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first one we're going to go with is the Tinku Punch Your Neighbor Festival <laughs> held every May. It's a fantastic day. <laughs> held it's a every great May. Day. Uh, it was the Incas in pre Hispanic times worshipped the earth goddess of Pashmama. Yeah. Who demanded blood to ensure a good harvest. Wow. And then the people from this Bolivian village of Tinku took it quite literally and beat the shit out of each other until <laughs> they were bloody in the streets. Oh, wow. So that they would have a good harvest. That's pretty awesome. So I like that. I like I that. I like that. I like that. And you get one more. And uh, the, <laughs> the last one is the La Puri Monkey Buffet. Oh, the Monkey Buffet. The Monkey Buffet. Each year, Thailand, uh, they celebrate the last weekend in November. It's uh, the world's biggest primate party. They lay out a v- spread in the temple, and they invite all the monkeys in to eat, and... To top it off, they have the drink that mm-hmm. they serve them is Coca Cola. Nice. Yeah. So the monkeys Aww. get to fucking have a nice feast and have a ice cold Coca Cola. Yeah. And yeah, you I don't what, like it. You know what monkeys also have? Penises. Opposable thumbs. Opposable thumbs. Yeah. So they get they to celebrate your holiday with, too. The, yeah. And so oppos- that's good. Opposable penises. Opposable penises. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hear. I hear they can hang from tree branches. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm going to end up uh, my last pick with July the 27th. It's a, it's, a, it's a holiday I haven't celebrated before, and I think we should start doing that. But we're going to go with Barbie in a Blender Day. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Fuck you yeah. Put Barbie in a Blender? Barbie okay. in a Blender Day. That's weird. I think it's great. Um, I didn't know it was a holiday. I would have started doing shit started like that. a long that. time ago. Yeah, so much okay. for Toy Story being right a good on. movie. That'll fuck that up. Uh, and Derek, with your last pick. Uh if- my favorite it's gonna it's actually my favorite holiday oh is it yeah christmas uh, nope thanksgiving <laughs> thanksgiving yeah. for dairy no nope. is it, it is uh day? national eat pussy and yeah. push kids off bikes day what oh, day is that you gonna do both <laughs> yeah what day is it april 9th oh, oh. that's your birthday yep oh. wow <laughs> <laughs> good for you yeah. Yeah. national eat pussy and push kids off bikes well, day. i just that's I, don't a think, good one. I don't think you can put that on on the facebook yeah, you can. No, you can't. You, you Don't can. forget to push kids off bikes. I'll get it. <laughs> you can put it on there, but it's going to get taken down. Yeah. Um, I, I saw some really good ones that I didn't. I just thought were fucking weird, too. National Wiggle Your Toes Day. Uh, I saw that one. Uh, this one, you know, some of you conservatives out there probably like a lot. Invite an alien to live with you day. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, no, that's out, kind out, of alien? outer space. Outer space yeah. alien. Oh, yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. Be nice to New Jersey week. Oh my. Ugh. Stalin. Yeah. <laughs> Stalin. Uh, that anyway, I don't know. Did All you right. have any, did you have any honorable mentions? Nope. Nope. Neither did I. Moving on. Just reading the list that I uh, kind of got from online. But anyways, guys, you can go and vote, uh, on facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. 
uh, and vote for your favorite list uh, by using clicking on the corresponding emoji, or you can go to Twitter slash X, which is at L O T sidelines, and vote there because uh, that's where the you know the the draft list. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. No, because yeah, we really uh, whoever wins, what do you give? I'm gonna win. Well, what do you well, give? How can you beat Monkey Buffet? What are you gonna What are you gonna <laughs> give the winner, JP? Whatever they want. Screensaver with your butthole. Screensaver with <laughs> screensaver with all the b-hole picks I get from Grinder. Nice. It just cycles through. Them. Nice. Very good. Trust me, they're not good. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this week on Laughing on the Sidelines, shitty situation. Uh, what is it sponsored by? Grinder? Sponsored by Grinder and 70 year old B hole picks. Yeah, that's JP. It's his favorite app. Good app. Just go check it out. It used to be. Uh huh. Uh, what is it? Porky? Por- <laughs> Porky. So, something like that. Porky. Oh, great. All right. Uh, this week's. Laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation is, would you rather have the two old guys from the Muppets, Statler and Waldorf, comment or commentate your sexual performance, or anytime you want to go swimming in a pool, you have to pop a Viagra and wear disintegrating swim shorts? Oh, dude, I'm going Viagra and swim shorts every time. Why am I not surprised? Because it's just free advertising. <laughs> it has been 1,176 days, so I need to get out there. So I'm going with that. It's probably a lot harder to get out there when you're on a list. Right. I know. Do you Tell have, me about it. Do you ever wonder if the reason why you're, you're counting the days and going up continuously, if it's because of you being you? What do you mean? Doing the mm-hmm. shit you do. Oh, dude. It, you, I'm sure I, there are gay guys that are like, nah, that's too much. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? I don't know. Popping Viagra and getting it in the pool with a disintegrating swimsuit. They love that. I'm sure they do. I wouldn't know. So I have no, no idea. Um, yeah. I no. I think it would absolutely be hilarious if Muppets were commentating <laughs> on my sexual performance. I think so, too. I'd tune in. <laughs> it would be fucking hilarious because they would just be talking shit about how I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'd learn a couple things, but I cannot tell you how dissatisfied everybody would be around if, if I had you, a swimming yeah. suit that had a, a Viagra erection that's about the size of a Tic Tac. But it'll no. freshen your breath. It'll so. fray. There you go. Yeah. So how about you, Derek? I think you're going viral either way. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> you are, one way or another. Yeah, I'm going to have to go. At least I'm getting some puss. Yeah. So. You're going with the Muppets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's point. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, so two to one, me and Derek win. Sorry, JP. Yeah, it happens. I'm, Just I'm too used weird, to bro. losing. Just I've been losing now for 1,176 <laughs> days. Did you round up to tomorrow? Does that count? Derek did for oh, me. Oh, okay. I yeah. just wanted to make sure. Did. Derek wrote wrote yeah. an extra day in there for me i got his back that's good uh well uh thank you guys so very much for no being man great, no thank you for letting us for a great episode have this opportunity to I'll, come sit in your basement for three hours <laughs> i hope Appreciate everybody it. had a really good time um do we have any upcoming shows or anything like that coming up in here in the area we're gonna do a live show real soon god damn it jp i don't know yet i'm trying to work that out we're gonna do it man we're gonna do it don't fucking don't say you want to say you can say you will steve will probably get divorced and all of a sudden we don't have a venue so i'm just saying just don't jinx it we're gonna do it man You're tra- man, that's fucked up. That is <laughs> fucked He's up. gonna get a divorce. So, yeah. so fuck us. Ah, uh, you know. Don't yeah, worry man. about Steve. He'll be fine. No, but anyways, thank you guys very, very much. We sincerely do appreciate all of you guys who are listening to these shows and watching on YouTube. Um, but uh, but yeah, as we always like to say, guys, uh, if you like us, would you do us a favor and tell your friends? But if you don't like us, uh, we hope when your phone goes off for the national emergency <laughs> tomorrow that uh, it's infected with a virus and now all you get is seven. Year old beehole hole If you don't like us, I think I've already been infected. <laughs> Keep laughing, assholes. No, yeah. tell your enemy. Thank you, and until next Keep time, guys. Yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> right. Keep that? laughing, you seventy-year-old, two hundred and eighty-pound assholes. Oh. We will see you next time. Take care.